What's good y'all, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about John Cena's comments regarding the whole Vince McMahon allegations and the lawsuit that he's dealing with right now. He was asked some questions on the Howard Stern show and uh, he's gotten some backlash on social media for his stance when it comes to Vince McMahon and uh, where does he stand in relation to what's been going on and what's been accused of Vince McMahon. So we're gonna check this out to see if the backlash is warranted on social media. Some people feel like he didn't speak out against Vince. So we're gonna see what was actually said. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. We're gonna get right into this one. This is on uh, WrestleZone.com. John Cena on Vince McMahon allegations. I'm going to love the person I love and be their friend that must be a quote from john 16 time world champion john cena comments uh on the allegations against vince mcmahon on january 25th janelle grant filed a lawsuit against vince mcmahon and wwe in which she alleged that vince mcmahon engaged in sexual assault and sex trafficking of her mcmahon denied these allegations but he resigned from wwe and he is under federal investigation during an appearance on the howard stern show the allegations against vince, uh, vince mcmahon came up um with stern referring to them as hot water cena was asked to describe how he had uh, how he was handling the situation uh after stern noted that it was uh complicated to talk about i don't think it's complicated to talk about john cena said i think it's complicated to listen to that's that's kind of why I don't necessarily put a lot of time and equity into it. Again, there's still a long ways to go. Uh, I can say this. I'm a big advocate of love and friendship and honesty and communication. But in the same breath, I'm also a big advocate of accountability. Hmm. I don't know about this one, John. Granted, once again, these are all allegations, so nothing has been proven yet in the court of law nothing has been he hasn't been announced guilty or anything like that so that is a fair point to say but the same time if there's anybody that knew vince and kind of what he was into it would definitely be one of his favorite golden boys john cena so i don't know he's kind of he's kind of like riding that vague fence uh with that response but let's see what else he has to say i think you explained it well of if someone's behavior lies so far outside of your value system that the balance shifts of like, man, I can't operate in a world where this works. That's the end result of being uh, accountable. Right now, what I'm going to do is love the person I love, be their friend. And by that, it means like, hey, I love you. I got uh, you got a hill to climb. Oh, so he hit him with the, I love you, you good, you know, we, we've been good, but you, yeah, you you got a tough battle ahead of you, my boy Vince, I don't, I don't know, I love you though, but I don't know, I, it's like, mm, you, you're, in a, you're in a tough pickle, Vince, very interesting that he said that. John Cena, this is going to be a hill to climb, but I love the guy. John Cena continued by citing the sayings that you don't know who your friends are until uh, your ba your back is against the wall, which is very true. Uh, he stated that the situation was a hill to climb, but he loves McMahon. There's uh, the saying of, "Hey, you don't know your friends, are uh, you don't know your friends are until the shit hits the fan, or your back's against the wall." John Cena said that doesn't make any uh, of what's going on any easier to swallow, but just telling someone, somebody, "I love you, man. This is going to be a hill to climb." We're going to see what happens, and that's that. It sounds so cliche, cliche, but it has to be uh, one day at a time. But at the same token, I've openly said I love the guy. I got a great relationship with the guy, so that's that. Hmm. So basically what I'm getting from this so far is he's still cool with Vince, and he's going to publicly say, yeah, I love you, Vince. But you you got some stuff you're going to have to be dealing with going forward. But I still got your back. So that's really what it is. And I think that's 
this could possibly be why people are giving some backlash to John Cena because he's not outing him out. Uh, he's he's or not like I guess you could say not having this mindset or verbally saying like he's disgusted with the rumors and and kind of going at Vince. He's more or less like not siding, but more or less. I love you, bro. I I'm always have your back, but. One, it doesn't involve me, and two, you're going to have a long road ahead of you, but I'm still going to be in your corner. That's literally what I've gotten. Kind of in comparison of with, with Triple H not really saying much of anything. Obviously, that's his father-in-law. Obviously, there's probably a lot going on. He didn't really say much of nothing. Not sure if he could have or if he, even if he wanted to, but he kind of just played that neutral fence and just kind of move forward with it, which some people gave him backlash too. And I think the same thing is happening with John. This we all know John pretty much owes his entire career and life, damn near, to Vince McMahon for giving him a chance. So I think that's more or less what it is. He doesn't agree with some of the allegations, but at the same time, he's not just going to publicly say "fuck Vince." It's more or less. I'm going to ride with this guy. I know it's kind of fucked up what his situation is, but we're going to see it through and see how things play out. So I think that's where the backlash is coming from. John Cena, the whole thing uh, is super unfortunate. Um, Stern noted that he wouldn't want to be the kind of guy that hides, as he would call the person who was in a situation like Vince. Uh, Cena emphasized that he believes communicating is helpful. He stated that the situation sucks and it's unfortunate as it also affected WWE. Cena made it clear that he wants to help. I think my construct of trying to operate with honesty and communication, I think those are strong leads to handling any problem or any achievement, John Cena said. But the whole thing is super, super unfortunate. That's really the thing that sucks about uh, sucks because not only does it deal with an individual who I love, it deals with an entity that I love, and it's one that I speak highly of. I want any everyone to have the experience I had. If you're an employee at Disneyland, uh, you want everybody to go to Disney and think it's the greatest place on earth. When someone doesn't, when you find out that there may uh, uh, that that there may or may not have been things going on there that this place I was speaking so great about well in some aspects it needed a lot of work that's more than just how uh, that's more than just how do I feel about this person now I shift to okay am I doing all I can to make it better from the advice of work as hard as you can and promote as hard as you can is there anything I can do so not only do I tell my fr uh, my friend I love them I also switch uh, to the entity and say, how can I help? Hmm. Yeah, man. It seems as uh, if John over here, he's kind of going with the stance of this is my friend and, uh, you know, I'm going to stand by him. I know the allegations against him are not looking too good, but he's my friend and I'm going to be loyal to him. And you got to commend him on that. He's loyal to someone that's been loyal to him. But the question becomes, and, and this is a question that you would have to ask some of your friends or whatnot in a situation where it's not looking too good. And it also comes down to, is it okay for a friend to have another friend's back even if that friend did some heinous stuff? Now, if the person knows that you did some heinous stuff, then that's different. And it just depends on the character of you, the, the friend itself. Like, do, are, are you going to chastise them in public or are you going to chastise them in private? And that could be a situation that's happening here with John. It could be a situation in public. I'm standing by you. I'm, 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 you're still my friend. I love you. But in private, he, he could be telling them, bro, what the fuck? What are you doing? What 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 are you doing? Why? What the hell is going on here? Like, why would you? You know what I'm saying? Why would you? What, what, explain yourself. What, what you got to explain to me? Why these allegations are allegations? And as a friend, you would want to know. You're gonna ask your friend, are these true? And be honest with me. What the hell is going on? And then at that point, you know, it's up to that person to decide if they want to rock with you still or not. 
So I, I think it's more or less John Cena is standing by his guy, but he's not outwardly saying, hey, I don't think he did it. He's more or less saying this is unfortunate and he's going to have a tough battle, but I'm going to still rock with him, you know what I'm saying, until the wheels fall off. And commendable to John. That's commendable because, you know, you could potentially lose advertisers just by saying you love Vince. And who knows, he may end up losing advertisers because he's standing with the guy that has been accused of some heinous stuff. But also, at the same time, I would love to know the conversations John had with him because I'm pretty sure, like I said before, if there's anybody that knows Vince, it would definitely be John Cena. And I'm sure he's had some conversations with him and I'm sure he probably knows some things about Vince's personal things and what he likes to get into. I'm pretty sure he probably does. Or maybe he doesn't. Who knows? But I just I just think it's more or less maybe John wasn't, you know, into what Vince was into and kind of kept his distance, but he knew or had some idea of knowing. Because don't get it twisted. Vince definitely let some of the top talent potentially know what he was doing behind the scenes. You know, it's, I, I don't deny that. At all. I think that's a possibility. A very likely one. So the question is. Does. Should people be ridiculing John. For having. This guy. Having Vince McMahon's back. Considering Vince is the reason why John is as big as he is. In just in the movie world. And in wrestling. He's the reason why he is. He's a megastar. Essentially. John is one of those type of people that. People know who he is around the world. So, should John be turning his back on someone that's always done right by him for the most part? Or should he have this stance of, at least in public, you know, showing that he still loves and cares for Vince? Um, and maybe behind the scenes, he's having a conversation with him on, yo, what's going on here? I don't know. I don't know if he should. That's a tough one, bro. I, I don't. I don't know if he should be vilified and people should not be turning on on john for not outing vince mcmahon or or not saying something to bash vince i don't know if that's the right way to go that's just me personally because i'm trying to put myself in a situation because you never know what someone is doing you know what i'm saying if they hide it real well and it can be someone that you've been friends with for a long time and you'd be surprised what they do behind closed doors and i'm trying to picture myself would i publicly out someone i've been really cool with and it has been an integral part of my career would i publicly out them or would i still stand by them in the sense of we're gonna wait to see how things uh pan out but this is my friend i'm not gonna just out him you know what i'm saying and and maybe in pub in private have that conversation like yo what the hell is going on so i don't know that's a tough one that is a very tough one because like we all know John Cena owes his career to Vince but at what point do you have that conversation with the person that's helped you get to that point like hey you gotta work on some stuff and granted doesn't need to be publicly uh, known to everyone that you talked to Vince and kind of scolded him for some of these accusations which once again are just still accusations but I don't know man this is a tough one for John Brand this is a very tough one. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys um, do you guys agree with John Cena standing with Vince in a sense of just, you know, still being his friend and, and having his back? Or do you guys feel like he should have publicly spoke against Vince on these allegations? Uh, and do y'all think he probably has known what's been going on behind the scenes with Vince and some of his escapades potentially? Y'all let me know down below because this is a very interesting conversation to have some people are kind of up in arms about what john didn't say about vince and some people are, are you know kind of in the camp of well maybe maybe you know john is just a, a good stand-up guy that's not gonna leave his friend high and dry no matter how bad the allegations are who knows y'all let me know how y'all feel about it let's start a discuss good uh i can't even talk a discussion down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace